Hi Gemini, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Gemini, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person. So this is their reading, but uh, you're going to be showing up, I'm quite sure. So please feel to feel free to swap around these characters and the whole reading could be vice versa. Although it is their reading, right? Let's see. That's just how it is with a general reading, okay guys? I didn't make it up. Yeah, and I didn't, yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't bring the stars from the heaven either. So, uh... <laughs> From the heavens, uh, so I can't, I can't help that part, okay? So let's see, from the Enchanted Map Oracle, guys, coming to life, something's coming to life, or if you wanted to, uh, Gemini, uh, the Bone Collector and the Talisman is here, and they both talk about basically you have everything you need to achieve success. The Talisman, you could have uh, learned a lesson, yes, a very valuable lesson, right? And uh, these are both about, I believe, about manifesting something that you want, all right? So basically, the cards are telling you have everything you need. Right now, Gemini, the Three of Cups is showing up. The Sun card, the Six of Cups, the King of Swords. In the near future, it's the Tower, Gemini. <laughs> so you could be in the Tower, right? But this is your person's uh, reading. They're in the Tower. Yeah, they are. And the Ace of Swords may be with you. I don't know if they're with you or alone uh, over at the Tower, all right? It's not the Leaning Tower of Pisa that we know is part of history. It is, for me, this is the Devil's Tower a little bit, right? Just kind of falling over. <clears throat> it's a powerful realization. Yes, when lies are exposed, the tower can show up. Yes, there's a lot of lies right now going on. Uh, mucho, mucho. People don't really realize. And let's see here. Some don't, right? Let's see, though. Why your person is in the Three of Cups energy. Gemini, I'm looking at your reading and, you know, these this bone collector, it's telling your person that they have everything they need for success. You could be wanting something. You could be wanting something yourself coming to life. <clears throat> it's going to depend. Let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say. But this, to me, looks like a little bit like uh, a continuing energy, uh, something like that. Exactly. Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune is here. So this is in this is you know showing up. <clears throat> you, maybe there's a Sagittarian here, right? I feel like your person is. Uh, they could be reuniting with a Sag, maybe. Let's get a card on that Wheel of Fortune. And this Knight of Wands is kind of unclear who that is right now, right? Yeah, could be a real person. Pull the Knight of Wands again. I'm gonna put it out of the deck because we have you know I have two decks like this clearly, right? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, some, uh, some are just too many in one deck and not enough in another. Okay, guys, your reading is going to be fine, though. Okay, trust me, okay? <laughs> no fear. No fear over a power light, although, you know, they're trying to really put us, uh, put us on our knees with this fear situation. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> and let's see. <clears throat> right now, Gemini, your person is, uh, what they are doing here. I feel like this is incomplete. Why is that Ten of Pentacles there? Why do they have the Ten of Pentacles? This is about a union. It's about, it could be about financial stability. The hangman, your person feels stuck here. They could be, they could be feeling stuck about, wow, about you reuniting with a Sagittarian. Yeah, they could. That's how the, with the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune could be Sagittarius, both. And this could also be, they're stuck about how to take action, maybe how to reunite, maybe with you. Or they are stuck about a third party that you are moving toward. Yeah, the Sun card is showing up. And this is their influence, right, Gemini? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they have clarity maybe that you have options regarding a Knight of Pentacles, regarding an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Three of Wands, yeah, see, this is third-party energy for sure. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups, Three of Wands, the Tower, Seven of Cups, yeah, the Devil, etc. Okay, so let's see over here. Your person, uh, I feel like they have clarity here. They could have clarity. This reading is, uh, we need to kind of continue here because this is a, it's a little bit vague, but I feel like what it is saying, because we're just starting the reading, right? This is why we have like eight more... Uh, yeah, we have seven, eight more cards here that we need to, like, attend to, right? For lack of a better, attend to or, you know, clarify how, 
however you want to look at it, but my point is it doesn't look clear, but from what I'm seeing right now, uh, after these two placements, I just feel like Gemini, your person is feeling, they're in the hangman energy, they feel stuck. They could be trying to look at things from all angles over here. They could maybe, maybe about a Sag, but I feel like uh, they could have, or maybe about what's going to happen, a baby about you taking, excuse me, about you taking action, possibly, to maybe be in another union, Ten of Pentacles, right? Because over here they have clarity that you have options. Yeah, I feel like that's it. So let's see. And the Six of Cups is in the root. This is their root, all right? Their roots, races. And this is the Seven of Swords. Your person, why it's all happening for them is they think you're going to sneak back to go be with somebody from their past, from your past. This Knight of Swords, I think, is you, Gemini. It could be. In this reading, right, this could also be somebody who's cutting somebody out. You can see the knight. He's trying to kill the other knight. Yeah, he is, right? Yeah, how dare him? Mm -hmm. His teeth are showing up really white. You know they weren't really white back in those days. I feel like they weren't. <laughs> they didn't even have good toothbrushes, right? <laughs> OMG. Let's see. Let's get one more card. Why is that knight of swords here? <laughs> oh, God. The whole world's falling apart here. And, uh... Our rights have been, you know, pretty much taken out, taken out uh, overnight, right? So I got to laugh here. <coughs> the Queen of Wands is here. <coughs> I feel like there's a Sagittarian here for sure with the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. This is really interesting. Your person could be a fire sign. They could be the Sagittarian. They could be this earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Why do they have the Queen? Why does your person have the Queen of Wands? Eight of Wands. So your person here is, for me, uh, stuck about some type of sneaky, sneaky energy here that they have clarity on. Yeah. And they are thinking there's going to be change and that maybe you're going to cut them out to be with somebody else. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. I'm not, you know, for this Queen of Wands, for some of you guys could be, you know, it could be your lover, it could be your husband, or it could be your wife, but it could be their person, the king of swords, yeah, their person, or the third party is what I mean, really. The king of swords is in the past. Why is that there? That's you, Gemini, showing up with all your glory, with your giant sword. You look like you could kind of uh, eliminate two people with the size of that sword. <laughs> so, because I feel like your person in this reading has like this feeling that I feel like they don't, they're not feeling really good about a situation here. I feel like it is about you. They're in the tower in the near future, right? It is about you, uh, I feel like, right? And you may be having a brand new beginning, Ace of Wands. Because they're in the near future, they're in the tower, and right now in their environment is the Ace of Wands. So for some of you guys, that is their new beginning, but I'm not really seeing it like that, okay? I have to say that because... It's an equal opportunity channel, and uh, yeah, I just have to say that, okay, guys, because you might get mad and go, that's not me. Six of uh, wands, six of wands. <laughs> Five of pentacles, you guys. So this is in the past, and Gemini, that's probably you having victory and leaving them out in the cold in the past. I'm not joking here, okay? I can't make this shit up, right? And maybe they were analyzing when you had victory and left them out. And it could be vice versa. They could be doing that. And I hate to keep saying that, but a lot of people get confused. They're like, who, who, what? Who, who did that? Okay. So, yeah. Let's see what we have, though. But, yeah. Let's see what's on their mind, though, uh, Gemini. Okay? The Four of Wands is on their mind. Their union, their marriage, their relationship. Why is the Four of Wands there? For some of you guys, it could be anything foundational, maybe a job. But we see the Three of Cups first card. And, uh... Yeah, and down here is the Ace of Wands, so it could be job-related, but I'm not thinking it is. King of Wands, this is what's on their mind. King of Cups, they could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Definitely. The Four of Swords, this is what's on your person's mind, maybe to heal a situation with a fire sign or a water sign. Why is the Four of Swords there? This reading is about love, but it is about another situation. Yeah, it is. This is a tri-layered whatever, okay? Not whatever, but reading. Judgment. Your person is thinking of giving somebody a second chance. <laughs> the Nine of Cups is showing up. So 
Somebody has a wish here. Mm -hmm. And this could be that they could be in reflection here. Maybe uh, somebody has told them that you want a new beginning with somebody. This is kind of the message I get from this reading. Why is that nine of cups there? Ace of cups. Wow. Moon card. Yeah, somebody has doubts here. This is your person is either a water sign or they have doubts and fear here. Mm -hmm. About you wanting to be with your nine of cups person. I'm pretty sure that's what this reading is about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember the coming to life card is here. This person is afraid that some, something is coming to life. Your person. It's because they're in the tower over here, right? This is not their new beginning if they're in the tower. It, there's no way. I mean, you know, stuff's pretty uh, twisted these days, right? Whatever you see or hear is kind of like not the truth, but the tower is there. <laughs> but this is the truth here, power and light, right? The tower is here because they're in the tower, right? In your future, which could be right now. They're in the tower, and in their environment is the Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning. So they're worried you're going to do this, right? In the past... They were analyzing the King of Swords. It could be you, though. But they were analyzing about victory and being left out. For some of you guys are leaving you out. But uh, I'm not really seeing that. It just depends who this reading is for, right? I can't, can't twist that. I can do a lot of things. I can uh, set an intention to shift the uh, Earth's energy if we all do it together. 1% of the planet sets the intention. We can change everything in our reality. I swear to heaven, okay? So, yeah. So let's look at the tower, and this has been proven. It's all it's called quantum physics, right? Just the same way you guys believe in the tarot, and you believe in readings, and, you know, or reading the energy, right? That the cards don't lie, things like that. Quantum physics is when it's like a higher consciousness. When everybody puts out either the same intention or the same prayer, it doesn't always have to be a prayer in case you know, anybody's an atheist, right? Ten of Swords. The world card. So let's look over here. The point is we all kind of put out the same intention and we can change what's going on. But it has to be at the same time. So yeah, it's supposed to be at the same time. So the tower, the ten of swords, and the world card. Let's get back to the reading, guys. All right. And let's get back to what you guys are really, you know, came here for is the tarot, right? Or the tarot. Okay. I, I think it's the tarot myself. <laughs> and let's see here. <laughs> In the near future, your person's in the tower about an ending and a new beginning, the world card. This is clear, Gemini. Wow. The Ace of Swords is their emotional concerns. That could be their fear. Three of Swords. The Nine of Wands. So this is your person's emotional concerns. They're already the wounded warrior, right? Showing up in their emotional concerns or their fears. <clears throat> they're worried here. And they're insecure. The nine of wands is more insecure to me than worry. It's, I mean, if you're insecure, you are a little bit worried, right? That things aren't going to go well, kind of. But over here, your person is, like, insecure about you healing a situation with somebody. About... Either you healing it with them and having victory or the clarity that they get. Because they have the sun card over here, right? Your person already has clarity that you have options. They think you want to be with the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe they think you want to be with a, with a fire sign or a water sign. Because we have uh, three people here besides you. The Ace of Wands is in the environment. Let's see. Hopefully not a lot of chemicals, all right, you guys? We're trying to live here. We are trying to live and not a lot of medicine, all right? Okay, the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So in their environment, I feel like they are a water sign, right? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And in their environment is a new beginning and a walking away. This is what your person is thinking is happening. And if I pull more cards right here, I can I guarantee there will be some type of an analytical card where they are thinking about this. This is, But this is clear already. They have clarity over here. Whether or not you're actually walking away. Let's get another card. Let's make it precise. Why is the Queen of Cups there for them? See? This is exactly right. Analyzing. Two of Pentacles. They are thinking 
that you here are going to walk away to have your new beginning, Gemini, all right? Okay, you heartbreaker, Gemini. Dream taker, heartbreaker, dream taker. <laughs> and the Ten of Wands, who sings that song? I think it's Kat Benatar or the other girl who's kind of Joan Jett, maybe. <laughs> Ten of Wands is in, the, in their desire. What is that there? Yeah. Queen of Swords, Hermit. Your person is carrying some type of a burden, I feel like, and they are like discerning a matter. For me, your person wants to end a situation, right? Gemini, and uh, I feel like they're discerning. Or they, it's not that they want to end it. They are discerning you ending it with them. Yeah, and the tournament is there. Maybe there's a Virgo. Because the Knight of Pentacles is here. So somebody, you could, this could be your person, this Knight of Pentacles, or it could be a fire sign or a water sign. There's somebody here who is not really part of a third party, like not part of a romantic third party. And then there is your person, Ver, uh, Gemini, and uh, and another person I feel like that you want. So there's really four people here, okay? Why is that hermit there? Page of Swords and the Justice card. So this is your person's desire. I feel like they just want to know if you're going to go, if you know, they're carrying this heavy weight, if you're going to go and balance the scales with somebody, right? Why is Justice there? I feel like also they're carrying a heavy weight because of a truth, Justice. Yeah, and they, they think they're going to end up being single. They think you're going to leave them. Nine of Pentacles. Over here, they have the in their environment, they're thinking that you're going to walk away. Eight of Cups. Yeah, they are. This is what they think. Okay? I could do a brain scan on them, and I would be able to, you know, discover that. Okay? Go see Dr. Do, uh, Joe Dispenza. He's awesome. Mm-hmm. About raising your vibration, he is a doctor who... Uh, they told me he would never walk again. He broke his back, and he kind of became supernatural. He has a book out called Becoming Supernatural. I'm reading it, and he cured himself. He told himself, I'm going to get out of there. All the doctors, he was a chiropractor and a brain surgeon. I think, a, I think both, but the point about it is that he cured himself. He walked, right? So over here, your person, guys, I'm getting kind of off-tangent again here, but this is your person's desire, you guys, right? They want to know here, I feel like Page of Swords, they want to know if you're going to let them go and be single. And they want to know maybe they maybe they could be a Virgo, right? But there's a Virgo here, right? Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. They're carrying a burden because they don't, like, they don't have all the answers. This is true. With the Page of Swords, never has all the answers. No, he doesn't. Unless he's just sending a message because he can be a messenger. But he's typically looking for information, so that means he never has all the answers, Right? The way some people act like they have all the answers, right? <laughs> uh, the devil card, yeah. Maybe because they believe everything they see on TV, right? Oh, yeah, sure. The devil card is... <laughs> the devil card is what they... Is, uh, sorry, is our outcome. Why is that there, Gemini? Your person feels stuck. They're in fear. Eight of swords. Page of pentacles. This is ten of... And the seven of pentacles. Your person feels really stuck. They have fear with the devil that you are cutting ties and walking away to have a new start with somebody. Page of pentacles. So we're going to find out more about them. Yeah, we are. We're going to find out, you know, the lowdown on them, okay? Because we like to get real lowdown, deep and dirty about them. Yeah, we do, guys. And let's see what we have. We're going to talk about the underlying energies as we do. And the outside influences, right? Yeah, we're going to see. Maybe uh, there might be a... <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be more insight over there. How they feel, the challenges or blocks in the situation, what they're hiding and what they really want. Your person, Gemini... And all the extended readings are super affordable. You can cross-watch them if you like to, you know, watch the other readings for sure. And thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys. Hit the bell if you want to be uh, notified of uploads. Thank you so much.